Hello and welcome to another new video. Today, check out this tank. Look at how good it is looking. I still haven't taken the cover off, but let me go and do that right now. Always fun doing this. Look at that sliding door action. All right, so take this thing off and check that out. Beautiful. So here's the shrimp. That's one of them. And then there's a few over here. We've got to change the pipe soon. It's coming soon. But yeah, look at them. Just doing really amazing. I've got to put fertilizers in this tank, so let's go and do that right now. First one, Green Bridie Neutral K. This is potassium supplement. One push of this. Green Bridie Nitrogen. This is nitrogen supplement. One push of this. Green Bridie Mineral. This is the trace element supplement. One push of this. Perfect. Green Bridey Iron. And this, of course, is the iron supplement. One push of this. Done. So it's recommended to feed the plants every day just to keep them healthy, you know. So that's what I've been doing, and the plants look to be doing really, really well. Look at the Hygrophila pinnatifida. I might have to trim it up soon. Um, but yeah, you can start to see the background plants starting to come up. Cryptocarini as well. A bit difficult to see, they are still small. Here's one right in the middle. But yeah, overall, tank looks to be doing good. Really happy with it. Now let's start today's actual video. So I think Rachel O'Leary challenged us to a, a, a challenge. Um, to make an aquascape or a scape tank with whatever we have laying in the house. And um, if you don't know Rachel O'Leary, she's a YouTuber who does all these aquariums and fish breeding and all these cool projects. And um, yeah, so I wanna try this challenge out. I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be fun as well. I mean, that's the main purpose of this challenge is to have fun. So I'm gonna try it out and we need to go outside. But before we start this, I just wanna take this moment to thank you guys. We just hit 50,000 subscribers. It's, it's just incredible. I'd never think that this channel would reach 50,000 people and it, it just kind of blows my mind. Like, that's insane. 50,000 people who click that subscribe button. All thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. For sure, we will do a giveaway in the future, so make sure you stay tuned. Stay around for that. All right, so the challenge is to set up an aquarium with whatever we've got laying around in the house. And today I'm in this garage area. We're gonna just use whatever we've got laying around and set this tank up. So right here, I've got my glass tank. Remember this, this was here the other time, but I've got it here. I've got some beautiful driftwood as well, but today we're not gonna be using this. Now out here, I've got this basket and this, or container, whatever you wanna call that, but this, I put the rocks inside, um, all, all the gardening stuff inside here, but I've taken it all out and we're gonna use this as a stand. Gonna take this, dump that upside down right here. We've got an aquarium stand. You might be thinking, why not just use the bottom of this stand right here? You, you know, you have a tank here, you can put one more here. Um, the thing is, first I wanna be creative, you know, see what I can do. Of course, I'm not gonna use the buckets as stand because that's just not safe at all. Um, that right there, that's not safe, especially if you put water in. But here, this is good, but the thing is, it's so low off the ground that it's hard to do water changes, and I wanna make sure I can do water changes, so that's a much better solution for me. I'm looking around, my uncle uses this space mostly um, for his car parts. He, he has a Volkswagen. Many of you know that already. Look, there's even this polishing kit right here. But I found this right here. This is a wooden board. This thing will be perfect. I'm gonna borrow this for a while. I'm gonna wipe this thing down because it is really dusty and I really don't need to, but I like things nice and nice and tidy. Look, look at all that dust. Before I put the tank on this wood board, I'm gonna cut out a styrofoam and put it right there because I've got a huge board right here of styrofoam and it'll just protect the tank much better. You might be thinking, man, this guy right here, he is stupid. He's got a huge board of styrofoam here, but yet he still puts his tank on two buckets like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know, it's just... Look at how good the driftwood looks. I'm not using it today, but I promise this will come 
in a video in the near future. What hardscape are we gonna use today, you ask? Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, we need to go to the mini studio. Dun, dun, dun. All right, look at my pile of mess that I've got going on right here. There's the tank and it is looking fantastic. Right here, I've got some nice rocks. They look kind of like lava rocks. I'm not so sure. They probably are some kind of lava rocks, but I'm gonna be using that. I've got some driftwood here, um, a whole bunch that I can select from. We've got soil, ADA Amazonia soil that I used on this tank right here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this today though, because I've got this soil as well. This is platinum soil. It's a cheaper soil than ADA and it's less nutritious. Nu it, it has less nutrients in it, so there's less, um, less algae in the beginning. ADA Amazonia soil has a lot of nutrients, very good for plants, but gives a lot of algae in the beginning phases. And then I've got some sand. This is just tropical river sand or gravel. Um, I've got another bag right here. And we're gonna be using some of this. So let's go ahead, bring that to the garage place and we'll start. The scape, the scrapscape. Is that what they call it, the scrapscape? Yeah, let's do it. Hold on, hold on, I forgot. I've also got this thing right here. This is a frosted film. I got this from the home center for $4. Um, same one as you can see in this tank. You can see the background is this frosted color. Uh, yeah, so that's what this is. Frosted background is in. I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. If you want to see a more in-depth video of how I put a background on the tank, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check that out. But now I'm going to start to put some rocks in to the tank. So I didn't tell you what type of scape or layout I'm trying to create here. And I'm trying to create a minimalist style, a river themed, um, you'll see later. But I've also got to think about the plants that I'm going to use because I can't go out and get plants for this challenge. So I'm, I'm going to only be able to use the plants I've got in my stock tank. Um, and yeah, let's, let's start this scrap scape, scaping from scraps. This is it, we've got the main rocks in lined up right here. We're gonna have sand, the gravel, the light color sand in the front, soil in the back. Now we've gotta cover up these little holes so that the soil doesn't come onto the sand. I've got a bunch of this similar rock. It's kind of like lava rock, it's smaller, so I can just chuck these into the gaps. There. Check that out. I'm loving the way this tank is looking. If you guys are liking this, hit the thumbs up. Now I'm gonna start planting, so let's go and select some plants. So this here is the plant holding tank, the stock tank. You can see my Sabor resplendent are doing good. I just fed them, so they're still eating. Um, I've got a whole bunch of this Valisneria spiralis. Uh, I've got the mushroom plant behind. I've got this right here. This is Echinodorus tenalis, and then I've got some other plants, but I'm not sure. I know I'm 100% gonna use the Valisneria and the tenalis, so let's start planting those in first. Alright, perfect. What do you guys think of this? Comment down below. Now for the final step, I've got to add the filter. I've got an internal filter right here, so I'm gonna put this on. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. Let me know what fish I should get for this tank. I think maybe some small Corydoras would be cool um, around the sand. Am I allowed to go out and get fish for this? I'm not sure. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.